We've been hanging up this mountain road in the middle of nowhere to go watch like real Japanese street drifting on mountain roads. Aaron's been going ham. Oh, oh gosh, what are all those lights? Whoa, it's an S15. Is that a trailer? Are they trailering their car up here? No way. Fuck no yeah, they are. Right. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> this oh, is the most oh hot point oh ever. Oh my god! <laughs> Somebody has to film this for me though. Oh, Somebody oh getting god. this? Yeah, I'm, I got it. Okay. <laughs> we they are it. legitimately trailering drift cars to the toge. Okay. That's a cage drift car. Woo! Yeah, we're going to Mexico and Japan or something. Aaron, how long have we been driving up this mountain? A while. Like 20, 30 minutes of like just. 15, 20. Of no other cars. Except the truck with the drift car on it. The location that we got, uh, there wasn't anything there, so now we're trying to follow the trailer with the drift car to hopefully find some street toge. So they've got a system with like people with glow sticks and people flashing cell phone lights so they know people are coming. There's like a foot to stand over there and that guy's over there tapping the guardrail. If a car hits, he's going off the mountain, for sure. There's literally almost any car you can imagine out here. There's <laughs> Skylines, 240s. I think there's a Laurel. Z. Yeah, Z's. Z's. Suzuki Altos. A bunch of JZ. There's a K car. It's crazy. It's like 2 a.m. so we stopped at a rest stop for food and they have these vending machines. First off, these are like the first hot drink machines that I've seen with like coffee and stuff. All these vending machines. And then there's a hot meals vending machine. Like chicken nuggets. I don't know what this is. French fries. Delicious. It was a bit hard considering it's around 4 a.m. but we managed to find a hotel. It's quite difficult considering most of the places uh, didn't speak English. It's a sleepy errand. Great day, tomorrow's Tokyo. Bye. We got the boot from the hotel around 11, and now we're trying to find somewhere to eat. No idea what this place is. It looks great though, nice door. Did you say it's Thai food? Yeah. This is a little laundry mat we went to so we could get some of our clothes clean. Aaron, how hard was it to figure out how to work the machines in here? Not very hard. I used Google Translate. Oh, that's no fun. But I shrank everything. So, uh, this is what we were faced with. But we got our clothes clean, and now we're off to Tokyo. I have a feeling that most of this video is going to consist of car spotting because like in the past half hour that we've been here we've seen so many cool cars that we don't have back home. Parking's so hard to come by here that they try to use like every square inch of space they can get. Like there's even just like a little random spot here. We've been trying to find somewhere to park and like half the places we go to have been those like revolver things straight out of Fast and Furious where like the cars go around in a circle. But we don't know how to work those so we found a lot. They clearly don't want us in there judging by this randomly placed barbed wire, although we could just climb over to this part, I don't know. Where we've been these past two weeks has been like a very rural area where not a lot of people speak English, but in Tokyo, I think there's way more people that speak English, so we got help from someone to figure out the parking situation. Hunter Mark II. What area are we in right now? Shibuya. 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 I'm getting a little bit hungry. Yeah. You know, you're getting close to the busy section when you see an Adidas store. This is the intersection from Tokyo Drift where they drift through the crowds of people. 
American cherry pie frappuccino. I don't think we have those back home. This is rad. Being in heavily populated areas is rad because no one looks at you funny when you have a camera. I love it. And if they say something mean to me, I don't even understand it. <laughs> Gaijin. I know, like, I, I don't ever mind vlogging in New York City because there's like five million vloggers there. <laughs> Look at this. Taylor just noticed that there's donut marks in the middle of this intersection. That's sick. I think they're talking about me. You can rent these and ride them around Tokyo. Japanese fire trucks, I'm guessing? Yeah, I'd say so. We're heading to a place called Heruyuku. Did I say it right, Dion? Oh yeah, we're gonna go find girls with big with, pupils. With pink eyes. Yep, pink eye girls. I guess oh, it's... There we go. Right here. Let's do this. <laughs> I, don't, I feel, I feel weird it. pointing it at them. Why? I guess they all just dress up interestingly and put contacts in to make their pupils look big. Apparently trash cans aren't a thing here, so I don't know where to throw this out. I don't know where to throw anything out ever. Proper drift JZX. Rolling around Tokyo. Does this STI come with this pinstriping? I don't know if that's like a thing back in the States that I didn't know. Or... It looks sweet though. You guys probably saw a Nigel Sylvester's Go video, but you can actually rent those uh, little like Mario Karts and drive them around. But you need an international driver's license. Hey, and that's probably. The plug? Are, what? They, are they plugging you? What? Is no. That, is this a commercial? I don't even know who does it. It's but a Mario Kart. We can't do it. What? Am I part of the plug? Is this all a conspiracy? Is that an LZ fake? <laughs> it's our Jay-Z friend again. They don't know who he is, they just like him because he's a cute white guy. Say cheese! Cheese! Alright, there we go. Dion thinks they might actually watch our videos. Of course they do. Why would they have a photo with you if they could have a photo with you? But they didn't know where we were from. You just hang out with them and they have hats. Scooters. Tanner! A scooter station? Heading back down after we ate some quick food. They have these things that I think are kind of like crepes, but they have like gelato in them and fruit and stuff. It sounds delicious, so I'm gonna try the gelato strawberries and chocolate cream one. This looks so good. Thoroughly enjoying this. This cool little street we're on was called Harajuka Takashida Street. We've walked by lots of shoe stores. There's also like dozens of these crepe places, but they're delicious, so I don't have a problem with it. There's not nearly as many people here wearing masks as I thought there might have been. If you guys are curious why people wear those masks, it's not actually just for like diseases and stuff. Alexi Noriaru actually has like a great video on it, so you should go watch that. I'll put a link in the description. Can you, can you actually do that for me? I'll, I'll put a link in the description down here. Dion's a wicked PewDiePie fan, if you can't tell the references. <laughs> PewDiePie's sick. Phoenix is a dog. I like the street. We find our way. It's weird, when I travel, I really don't feel the need to like buy things from stores. I feel like a lot of people always focus on bringing souvenirs because it's like something they get to bring back with them. And I get to bring back these videos, so I guess I just don't feel the need to do it. Unless it was for Nicole, because I like to bring things back for her, and she really likes gifts. But I just lose things, or break things. But yeah. These things are sick. They also advertise things on trucks that drive by with music, by the way. I guess they're cheaper than billboards here. I wasn't joking. Kiss my feature two new album. Woo! Just started raining and our Tokyo adventure is done. After an hour drive that turned into two hours, we made it to our hotel, flying out of Tokyo tomorrow back to Florida. The way that the GPS works, it just says, turn left onto, and doesn't say anything because it can't read like the Japanese letters. So we just kept getting lost and lost and lost. But we finally found the little airplane signs and made our way to the hotel. A bit abrupt, I know, but I'm home in Florida now, <laughs> back with Nicole. I'm home in Florida now, back with Adam. Japan was awesome, but it feels really good to be home. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be done kind of around the house. There's a lot of stuff I gotta get caught up on because I've been gone for so long. So tomorrow, I think what I'm gonna do is just kind of like an update on a lot of different things going on, like car stuff, bike stuff. Wife stuff. 
I just need to like buy myself a little bit of time and I can't do like anything too crazy tomorrow. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the Japan trip. Let me know if you did. It was a lot of fun and we will 100% be going back in fall with Nicole. With Nicole. So yeah, that's it. Thank you. I've missed you guys, but I'm back for a while. When you say